Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to the first video of the Electronics Brewery. Today I will be showing you the results of a 500 watt Class D amplifier that I bought off AliExpress. It's about 11 euros, which is about 13 dollars US. And today I'm going to show you how much we're going to actually squeeze out of this little puppy because it's actually stated to be at 500 watts into 4 ohm. So, I'm very curious about this. Hope you are too. And, well, thanks in advance for watching this video. I'm going to set this thing up and then we're going to be right back. Okay, so I've got the unit set up to being tested. As you can see, it's a fairly simple setup. I don't have any high-end equipment. The only thing I've got is a clamp power meter. And of course, we've got a couple of dummy loads, which in this, this case are two uh, pieces of uh, 500 watts into four ohms, which would result in a load of maximum 1000 watts into 4 ohms. Okay, um, besides that we have a regulated power supply which can go up to 90 volts. And of course we got our oscilloscope and our sine wave generator. So, all right. I'm very sorry if the video is a bit messy, since this, this is my first video. <coughs> All right. Uh, at first, the, um, man, the seller states that we should not go over 70 volts, because according to the seller, the unit will fry. So, I'm very curious about this, because I'm not sure if we can get the amount of power which the seller promises so let's find out all right so we're gonna turn up the power supply up to 70 volts okay you can hear the fan of the amp coming up All right. Oh, so we're at, we're at about seventy volts. So to be clear, this this is a balanced power supply. You have to have a plus seventy and minus seventy volts. All right. So. All right. Now I'm going to turn up the sine wave power. Just until the sine wave starts to break up which is about now you can see that here so i'm gonna take it back a notch okay so this is max now let's see how much power we get well as you can see we're at about 7.6 amps so if we would be to calculate this with the with the simple ohms law which in this case is the power equals square of the current times the impedance which in this case is 7.6 square times 4 ohms which results into 231 watts well that's actually not even near the power that has been promised by the seller and the manufacturer as well. So, uh, I'm going to see if it's possible to crank up the input power over the 70 volts, which is stated to be the max. So, I looked up the um, specifications for the IRS2092 chip, which is on the board. And as you can see, 
it actually supports voltages up to plus and minus 100 volts. So that shouldn't be an issue. So I think it would be quite safe to run it up to about 90 volts. Now let's see how about those MOSFET transistors which are hidden beneath the heatsink which do the actually power switching. I'm gonna uh, dismantle the board and see what kind of transistors are underneath there and I'm gonna check the specs as well. Okay, here are the specifications for the power transistors. As you can see they can handle up to 250 volts. So, also this is no problem if I would run it up to about 90 volts. So, I'm now wondering why the manufacturer uh, I'm sorry, not the manufacturer, the seller uh, says that it's absolutely not possible to run it over 70 volts. I don't know, but we're going to try it anyway. So I bought actually two of, the, of these boards in case one of them fries. So we're going to test it. Okay, so now I'm gonna crank up the voltage to the maximum which my power supply can handle and which is just under 90 volts. Okay, it's 88 volts. So and now let's see how much power we get. All right, here we go. Let's turn it up again. Okay. Okay, so this is about max, and let's see how much power we get. 10 amps. All right, let's calculate this. So, as you can see, of course, we're using Ohm's law again, and within with a current of 10 amps, we get 10 squared times 4 is 400 watts, which is, I think, personally, is kind of amazing for such a small board which actually costs 13 dollars or 11 euros probably the power supply will be much more expensive than the amp itself would you be willing to you know build a complete amplifier but then again not bad it's not 500 watts which have been promised but then again i didn't get it to run up to 100 volts because my power supply doesn't do that and I think it would be pushing it to the limit uh, uh, which in case you might fry your chip after all or your caps or your transistors so we're gonna leave it at this 400 watts is very nice if you want to buy this you can buy them everywhere Aliexpress eBay um, well thanks for watching uh, my first video I know it was a bit messy if you have any positive comments or tips or if you have any more questions just post them below and I'll try to answer them and for any tips thank you very much thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye